In this video, I'm going to show you the easy hard way to set up your own Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager themes on your device as well as boot screens. Now the reason why I'm saying this is the easy hard way to do it is because I found a way that's simpler for me to do it and I'm a little bit more comfortable with and I think it's more comfortable for beginners. Now there's definitely easier ways to do this with the virtual pager and using this command right here, but for me, I feel like this is more approachable for beginners. This is almost like a theme builder. So basically you can take my file and just replace the images where I'll show you where to do that and how to size it and how to replace it in a way that's organized and easy to do. And before you know it, you have your own custom theme. At least it'll get you started. Now, for some reason, I like torturing myself, so I spent the last two days before I actually figured out breaking the device left and right. I froze it, I broke it. I had a factory reset this thing like nine times or more, and uh, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's an easy process to do, and I've done it. I actually made a YouTube video showing you how to factory reset it. So if you break it, it's not that big of a deal. And I'm also gonna simulate me breaking the device. I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna factory reset my Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager and show you how to set up the file and just to get you started. So this video should have everything you need to get you customizing your own Wi-Fi Pineapple page or themes. Now I ended up creating two templates. One that has the button set up so you can do it like the normal way where you have the, the up and down diagonal buttons and I have one that hides the buttons and I'll show you how I manipulated that later in the video. Personally, I like the one that hides the buttons because it gives you a lot more real estate on the screen to put your themes and backgrounds on but let me know your opinions. At least you have two options with this and I'll leave the templates in a place where you guys can grab it later. All right, to start this video, I'm gonna reset my pager so I'll start at the bare beginning. Now more than likely you already have your pager set up but I'm just gonna show you how to do it right from scratch and show you how to create a file in a certain place on the pager so you can actually upload your themes to. Unfortunately, I'm using Windows 11 in this video and you need a tool called WinSCP. Now, Talking Sasquatch has a really good beginner video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for it. He goes over how to download this and how to set it up. I'll leave the link to that video in the description. Now, the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager reset takes about 20 to 15 minutes. So during that time, we're gonna get everything set up here. Now, when you open up the program, all you have to do is type in this information here. Feel free to pause the video at this point to grab the information. When it comes to the password, we're going to set that up after the pager reboots. So this is Ghost Rats V2. This is the template that doesn't have the buttons that hides it. So this is what it looks like when you open the file. You'll see these folders and files here. At this point in the video, I want to show you kind of behind the scenes a little bit. So if you want to just do the theme stuff, you don't want to listen to all this behind the scenes stuff, just skip ahead to this timestamp below. So I just opened up the components folder. So this is all the JSON files and think of it like an onion in layers. So you have folders within folders and you need to make sure everything directs to itself. Now, if the file names don't match, it will not work. It will break the whole theme. That's why it's important to cut and paste the file names later on and match everything because if you don't, it'll break everything. So this is just the reason why it breaks if you don't match the file names later, but I did all the work for you. Now, in the outermost layer of JSON files, right here where it says theme, if you click on this file and open it up, you're gonna see a spot where you can put your name um, it's up to you. If you want to put your name in there, um, I, I'm just leaving Hack5's name in there because I just took their files and repurposed it to the way I wanted it. Why work harder if I don't have to? As you see here, this is another one of my files. So everything's all set up for you. So it's the layers are done. All you have to do is change the name if you want in the main file just to give yourself credit when you're done. It's as simple as cut and pasting your name and just hitting save and uh, make sure you have it saved in the right location. Don't make sure you don't save it somewhere else in another folder. Just make sure you overwrite that folder. Now the asset folder is what we're gonna be working out of the most here. So we're gonna be scrolling down until we find a folder named dashboard. That's where you have your background and all your buttons on your home screen. So this is where I kind of manipulated the files to get it to work in a cool way. So right now this is blank. So all the buttons are just see-through images of nothingness. Now these files need to be there even though it's not showing anything. If you don't have them there, the theme will not load. It will just crash. So if you're using the V2 version, do not touch any of these. The only thing that you need to do in the V2 version is replace the background. So the only file you're gonna be replacing is this one, GS underscore BG. Now when you make these images for your backgrounds, you gotta make sure that they're sized a certain way. This is how you change it and double check to make sure your image is the correct size. So you go ahead and click on resize image. And if it doesn't say 480 by 222, then it's not gonna work. You need it to be fitted exactly like this. Now for the boot screens, it's the same exact thing. You're gonna to need to get four separate images sized the same way, 480 by 222. And to find that folder, you're looking for the one that says boot animation. So you're gonna see these four files right here. Those are the four images that go in a rotation for the animation when you boot. And all you gotta do is replace them. I'm gonna show you how I do it. And this is how I recommend you do this in this exact way. This way helps keep you organized and also make it easy for you to keep track of what you're doing. So here is an image I'm gonna be replacing my first slide on my boot animation. I'm gonna drag it over here. 
Now it has a different file name, but what we're going to do here is go to the first one. Now they're in order here. So one, two, three, four. So that's the first image, second image, third image, fourth image that'll pop up. So what I do is I right click it, click on rename. I copy that control C and then I delete it. So I'm not going to delete it here because I want to mess up this theme, but you just delete it and then you rename this file right here. The one that you just pasted to this folder that exact thing and you hit control v to paste it and that's how you would replace it and that one would have been deleted so you just keep doing that for all four images now the one you're looking at right here is the one i made for adventures of Ilya. he was having a hard time setting up his theme so i figured i'm gonna just make it for him and help him out also a quick note for both templates you get a custom keyboard i have a purple one here now it's basically the same one from hack 5 gives you with the war games one that's blue but i just turned it to purple now for me, I like recon, so I kind of focused on this one first. So you can also change the recon background screen. I highly recommend doing it because it looks so cool when you do do it. But same thing, you go to the recon folder, you find the one that says recon dashboard. You're going to click on that one. So with the template, I'm going to leave the original recon dashboard image so you can change the color, also fade in whatever background you want. For example, I just put my logo in the background and it just makes it look that much better. Then upload that image to that file and make sure it has the same file name and do the same process we did earlier when we replaced the other images. And that's it, the hard part is done. You replaced five images, and now all you gotta do is upload that folder to your Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager, and you have your own custom theme. So very easy to do. Speaking of the pager, it's done resetting, so we're gonna go ahead and set a password. So I'm just gonna set a temporary password on this one, because I'm sure I'm gonna be wiping this one again when I experiment with something else I wanna do. So go ahead and type in your password, and there's that default blue keyboard, so you can see it right there. I'm just doing 404 real quick as the password and make sure you save it. You're gonna need this password in a second to log into the device with that other program. And then I will just skip the um, tutorial if you haven't done it already. And that should boot into the device and I'll show you the next step. Now all you gotta do is plug your Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager to your computer. Let's go ahead and plug it in and then we're gonna go back to that program. Now you already have the stuff pre-filled. If you haven't pre-filled it already, you're just gonna type in everything you see here and type in the password you just created. So for me it's 404. And then we're going to click on login. So you're going to get a, for me, I'm going to get a message on this computer that says something about updating it. Um, just hit update. Um, I've wiped this so many times for some reason. I think it remembers your last time you plugged in. But now that I wiped it, it's different. You're not going to see that. You're going to just log in. And you're going to see these folders right here. Now we need to set up the themes folder. So now you need to go to this path right here. So you need to find the root directory. Then you're going to need to find the folder that says M. M C. So go ahead and click on that. Click on root. Now this is where you're going to create a folder. So right click, hit new, hit directory, and name this folder themes. And you're going to save it. And the hard part for this is over. Now we need to just drag and drop. You're going to take your theme that you created earlier from the template and drag it over into this folder. So make sure you're opened up into this folder. That's how it should look like. Now I'm just gonna highlight all the themes I made because I wanna put them back on the pager for demonstration purposes. So I have all of these highlighted. I am just gonna drag them over to the right side and then let it go and let everything upload to this folder. And that's it. Now you have your themes installed on your pager. So to access this, you just go to your pager and it's pretty much there instantly. You don't have to reboot your device. It's actually there. So I'm going to unplug it, click on settings, go over to themes and you'll see all your themes. So keep in mind for the theme builder, you pick which one you want. You could either pick the, the first version where you have those icon buttons or you pick the one that's my favorite personally, the V2. And all you gotta do is swap out the background image like you saw, and then the four images for the boot screen. And if you want to get fancy, swap out the recon image. And that's it, you have this. You're defaulted with a purple keyboard. It does come with a defaulted um, boot screen, um, but I recommend just changing it to your own stuff. But that's it, all you gotta do is swap out a couple files and drag and drop that folder into the folder that you created if you don't have it on your pager already. And that's it, super easy. So I'm gonna make a readme file going over step by step how to do it so you can follow along on paper. And for the V1 version, if you really wanna have the buttons on the screen, all you gotta do is change the color of the buttons. I would just keep the same sizes, just manipulate or put any photo you want in there, but make sure it's the right size. 
Again, if you're a beginner, I recommend the V2 version. This is the one that makes those buttons invisible. You kind of have an indication of what mode you're on on the bottom left corner of your Wi-Fi pineapple pager anyway. I find the buttons on the screen a little bit redundant, and I kind of like the real estate to put more backgrounds on, but it's up to you. But I feel like the V2 version is the easiest to get started. Replace about five images, and you're ready to go. Now, I don't have the GitHub stuff set up yet, but when I do, I'll make this stuff available on there. Right now, if you do want the templates, I have a Proton Share Drive. I'll leave a link to that Proton share drive and the template slash theme builder in the description for you. Eventually this stuff will be available on the Hack5 GitHub. I'm actually talking with Darren behind the scenes. We actually made contact during uh, his live stream that he had recently. Dude, is that Ghost Strats in the house? <laughs> Ghost Strats, dude, I can't wait to see your theme. I freaking loved your videos leading up to launch and I cannot wait to see your theme. I'm so excited for that. And I, I need to hit you because I've got some, I got some, uh, I want to send you some toys. I don't know how to get a hold of you though. We did get into contact and Hack5 is sending me all of the modules for the Wi-Fi Pineapple pager as well as another pager. He's going to be sending me the yellow one. Also, I want to mention before this video ends, uh, the Proton Drive. So basically, you're going to see the folders. You're going to download them as a zip file. And then once you get the files, you're going to unzip them. And then you're going to end up manipulating the folder any way you want. Also, a side note, you can't use GIFs. Um, I thought you could do some animations like I've done in the past with the Bruce firmware themes. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with a pager. It also breaks it. So I tried. Don't do it. It breaks the pager. You have to reset it. It actually freezes it. So it's a little different than actually crashing. So just so you know, I tried the GIFs and it doesn't work. Now they had the Wi-Fi Pineapple pager for a little while and I'm starting to figure things out. I'm starting to understand why I had so many problems in the beginning. It's just that it's not as easy as a plug and play gadget. Like it takes some setting up. Like you need to actually install the payloads to get the alerts to work. Check out Sasquatch's video. Again, the link's in the description for that one. He also shows how to set up the payloads. But again, I just think that this device is not super beginner friendly. Um, I think that you can make it beginner friendly if you make and find ways around things that are complex like I think I did with the themes. Um, I'm going to keep trying to find easier ways to understand this device. Thank you very much for watching this video and do me a favor and remember that safety is an illusion.